Back in 2012, a group of local people in Ross River, encouraged by historian and expert on General Ross, John McCavitt, decided that the village should celebrate its links with the writing of the Star Spangled Banner on its bicentenary on September 2014. Funded by Newry and Moran District Council, the Star Spangled Rustrever Festival was launched on July 4th, 2014, with a talk by the leading authority on the War of 1812, Professor Don Hickey. On September 13th and 14th, Rustrever became the 53rd state for two fun-filled days as visitors flocked to the village to enjoy a weekend of fabulous American music and dancing, marching bands, American food and drink, and even the Stars and Stripes themed flotilla of yachts on Carlingford Loch. We are here in the grounds of Rustrever House, which following the death of General Ross was home to his wife, allowing her a view of the Ross Monument every night before she slept. It also was home to generations of the Ross family thereafter. On Saturday, September 13th, the bicentenary of Francis Scott Key's famous song was commemorated with a spectacular fireworks display from the loch, symbolising the bombardment of Fort McHenry by British ships. They exploded high above a replica of Fort McHenry itself, while a light show illuminated the Ross Monument and a 30-foot by 42-foot replica of the original Stars and Stripes, which inspired Francis Scott Key to write the American National Anthem. Say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last beaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars in the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket red glare. From the island of Ireland, millions came to help found the new country of America and play a central role in forging its ethos and identity. On the 200th anniversary of its writing, Miss Trevor is proud to be part of the story of the song that forever celebrates a sense of hope and vision.